So I almost felt guilty for chuckling at this one. And the reason why is it was just oozing with fear instead of facts. And it is true when you're exposed to hazardous materials, there are health concerns there. That's why we call them hazardous. And that doesn't mean that because there are hazardous materials, we're not aware of the hazards, just the opposite. By the fact that we've identified them as hazards means that we recognize those health concerns that are there. And the same applies to radioactive air or radio aerosols. We understand those hazards. And this thousands and millions, oh my goodness, uh, uh, radioactive air is natural. Uh, it's always been around. You've breathed it your entire life. Radon comes from the ground. But if you get it in too high of a level, it's dangerous. Just like if you have too high of a nitrogen level, that's dangerous. It displaces oxygen. If you get too high of a temperature, that's dangerous. If you get uh, too high of uh, amount of vibration or pressure and so forth and so on. The point is that as long as it's maintained within levels that we're designed to handle based on our biology and the fact that we're designed for the biosphere, that's the level of control that we need, right? There's a certain amount of height that you can jump from that's safe, any higher than that, and it's not safe. We understand that, but that doesn't mean that all jumping is unsafe. It means that you've got to do it safely. And just like with any other environmental or man-made uh, exposure, this is what we need to recognize. So just because something's synthetic doesn't mean that it's evil or bad, but typically when we have synthetic materials, we understand what those hazards are and we're able to mitigate those. And we should mitigate those and that's the right thing to do. So we do understand what the hazards are from radioactive releases from facilities and that's why those facilities have a license and they're regulated to make sure that the levels that they will release are negligible in terms of any kind of measurable environmental or health impact to the population. In fact, as a general rule, there are many orders of magnitude below any kind of a measurable level. That way you could just have them going off all over the place and still have no measurable effects. That's what the regulation buys us and that's why we're so conservative with those licenses to make sure that they have negligible impact even if compounded many, many times over. That's how we do it. So. Uh, we really don't want to get bogged down with fear. We want to stay focused on sustainable, environmentally friendly, cost-effective technologies. That's really where we have to go. I think we can all agree. And nuclear really does that in spades. So I hope that helps. Thanks for the comment.